This is BoomerIncomeIdeas.com and your host, Dan Farnsworth. Imagine if you could take a day to dream, to get away and really figure out what you want to do, to find a renewed sense of purpose. What if one day could help bring that clarity? We're all in some space of transition in life, whether it's moving, starting a new job, becoming empty nesters, having a baby, learning a new language. The list is endless, really. All of us are in different spaces, but we've all encountered the question, what is next for me? What is my purpose? I'm so excited about taking the time to take a day and really dig in and get focused on what these next steps in our lives can be. So join us for a day to dream, discover, and reimagine you. Hi, and welcome back to this installment of BoomerIncomeIdeas.com. Today I want to talk about something that I think is kind of a dilemma for a lot of us boomers. I don't know about you, but when I was very young, I had a dream or a goal of what I wanted to do later on in life. I wanted to work hard at a young age, make uh, as much money as I possibly could, be comfortable at the time that I was uh, going to retire, but I didn't really want to re retire. I wanted to become a history teacher. That was my goal. That's what I had uh, worked towards. And the interesting thing was the closer that I got to that time to actually make that transition to go get my teaching credential and go apply at a high school or something, I realized that that dream was not anything. Uh, in relationship to what I really wanted to do. I mean, the idea uh, was very attractive to me when I thought of myself as uh, a figure, kind of uh, know-it-all teacher that everyone uh, was thralled with and just uh, held captive to my every word as I was teaching them about the history of the United States. And in reality, what I realized was that that was not going to be the case. It was going to be just a complete frustration for me. So because of that, uh, I started to look around for alternatives. And quite honestly, I had no clue what I really wanted to do. And I think that a lot of boomers uh, and maybe some seniors are in that dilemma. We get to that age and we say, okay, now what? What do, what do we really want to do? Fortunately, there's some tools and some uh, things out there that we can examine that help us try to work through that process and figure out what we are good at, what we are interested in, maybe what we're passionate about. And uh, there's a, a site uh, that's administered by AARP called Life Reimagined. And it was a pretty interesting exercise because it really has a, a number of tools that actually help you through that process. The thing that I found out about that, though, that I thought was really interesting was that in reality, at some age, all of us simply don't do what we don't want to do. And that's really the biggest challenge. There are two uh, main categories that were the most popular in this exercise. One was how to uncover your dream job. And you'll notice that 25,597 people actually signed up to go through this course or this process, yet only 1,314 actually completed. The second was get an edge on job search and 39,826 people signed up for the course and only 1,615 actually completed. Now what that tells me is that, again, these boomers signed up, they thought they were going to go through this exercise, they got bored with it and said, I'm not going to do this. I can definitely understand that because I was probably one of those uh, 39,826. The reality is that at some certain age, we just simply want to do what we want to do and the things that we don't need to do or have to do, uh, we just put off. Now, it was probably different when we were younger because we were forming families and we had house payments and we had car payments and we had to put our kids through school and count on sending them to college and all those other kinds of responsibilities. And once we no longer had those same responsibility for others and really all we had to take care of was ourselves and possibly our spouse, things changed a lot. What's next? It's a question we all ask whether we're looking to build on years of experience or try something new. It's this yearning that makes us human. But let's face it, the world has changed so much and so quickly, making things harder than ever before. That's where Life Reimagined comes in. 
Life Reimagined is a new kind of guidance system, offering a host of fun, fast, and friendly tools and programs for the way we live our lives today. Delivering inspiration, activities, and connections, online, offline, and in your community, with programs around work, relationships, or life in general. We make it feel easy by helping you take small steps forward, bring you new ideas and insights from best-selling authors and experts, help you connect with people like you, and do it all with the clarity and confidence you get from working with someone who's been there before. Of course, life is always a work in progress, so you can come back again to revisit, rechart, and reimagine the things that matter most to you. The world is filled with possibilities. What's next for you? If we were going to do something, we needed to be passionate about it, otherwise we weren't going to do it. Or if we were going to generate some income in a way that we weren't going to be passionate about, it better be very passive. In other words, I better not have to really do too much to generate that income. And what I've done is take a couple of examples that I thought that uh, might be of interest to you because a lot of people don't know that these things are available. First example, did you know that you can actually own a cash machine? It's true. There are private ATM machines and these um, ATM machines generate cash flow for their owners. And you can see by this example that the ATM machine has a market value. You can buy these, these ATM machines already installed already in place, they're already generating cash, they already have some kind of return on that particular investment, and you can simply buy them, make sure that they're stashed with cash, and generate an income from them. Other things that might be important to you, uh, maybe you just don't like being in one place all day long, maybe you've spent 30 or 40 years in an office and that's driving you crazy, and you really uh, would like to do something that you can kind of get out on the open road, go visit places, talk to people. In that case, possibly a FedEx route might be the perfect solution for you. Again, many people don't know that you can actually buy a FedEx route. There are certain routes or certain uh, operations within the FedEx or organization that are company, and then there are others like FedEx Ground and FedEx Home Delivery, which are actually independent contractors. They're private individuals that actually own these trucks, run the routes, and in many cases, a lot of them have a number of routes. In fact, most, if they get up to about five or six routes, have enough volume that they can actually hire a manager along with their drivers, a manager to run the operation, control the drivers, and, and they really don't have to get involved at all. So these are just a couple of the passive type of operations, both passive and if you want to drive the truck yourself, non-passive. But these are the types of things that are available to us. In my case, I kind of did a, a full 180. Uh, I, I went and looked at a lot of different types of situations. And what I really realized was that the teaching situation was attractive to me. I like to talk. I like to try to educate people about things that might be available. So voila, that's exactly why I did this website, so that I could talk to uh, other people just like you, just like me, that we're talking about opportunities and trying to educate you about the things that are available to you and, and could possibly change your life. So that's uh, what I wanted to talk about today. Hopefully you found this uh, somewhat interesting.